Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I did my hair finally after so long of having black hair. I finally went lighter and I am gonna go lighter. So it's just this whole process that we're doing. And I'm here with my friend, Tiffany Blue. And yeah, so. Okay guys, so basically we're trying to get Fritzy lighter for the summer and we wanna do it at the healthiest way possible basically. So what I did was the whole shebang in process, which means I did a baby light in there. I added some balayage and some ombre. That's why you see the uh, ends are really light. And then I layered her, did some long layers. Um, let's see, what else did we do? We added Olaplex to the whole to the whole treatment just so that way her hair stays nice and healthy because her hair was like jet black. You guys know, you guys follow her. <laughs> so we are going to go lighter, but that's basically what we did. And yeah. we gave her that like Coachella vibe, like hair with this fun, messy, textured, like wave that we have going on. All right, you guys. So obviously I'm sitting on her chair and then we're just getting ready. She's prepping me by giving me a robe to put on. So it's kind of like a drape and then when you have a client, you want to make sure you check the scalp area. Even though she's my friend, I'm pretty sure she's still checked. And then here, she parted my hair into different sections. And then make sure you put a towel when you do like a chemical service because you don't want the products on your client's skin or clothes. So I'm not really sure what kind of steps she did. So I'm just going to go by what I'm seeing on the video for this voiceover. So she used this lightener from Swashpuff and I'm pretty sure she added Olaplex number one or two because my hair is freaking damaged from my previous colors from a long time ago. And like she said, she's doing the whole shebang in on my hair and it's a mixture of balayage, highlights, and ombre. And dang, my hair is freaking long. I felt so bad for her because <laughs> my hair is so long. Oh my God. All right, you guys. So let me tell you a little bit about my hair history. So two to three years ago, I had an ombre and I loved my ombre. I did it myself. But then as I got older, you know, my hair looked really dry. And then last year I decided to go darker because I wanted my hair to look healthier. And we all know going darker from a really light hair is a big no-no, but I didn't care at the time. I thought I would keep the black hair for a very long time, but I mean, we're here now doing my hair, so I guess not. Don't get me wrong, I love my long black hair, but then it grew out so much to the point like there's no more texture and I'm used to having texture in my hair. It's just easier for me to style it and having a voluminous hair, oh my god, I like to die. So this part is actually my favorite because, you know, when you get a shampoo, you get a little massage in there and it just felt so relaxing. And you definitely want to use the right shampoo and conditioner because you don't want to go home and use like a drugstore brand or something with your color and you paid so much for it and then you're just gonna mess it up and trust me you're gonna end up dyeing it back to your natural because then it's not gonna look right and it's gonna strip it off and yeah like listen to your hairstylist so i knew that coming from dark hair and then wanting to go light again will really damage my hair but you gotta find someone that will really tell you the truth so you're aware of what can happen once everything is processed i usually do my own color especially when it was short but now it's so long that i can't even handle it anymore so i went to her and i'm glad that i can trust her with my hair and here she's just detangling it so at this point, we haven't toned my hair because I wanted a haircut. So we decided to just cut my hair first before toning it. And I really loved how she did that. And I had to stand up when she cut the length of my hair because I mean, it was too long for the chair. And yeah, like my hair was so long. So my last haircut was back in April and RJ cut the length of my hair because I couldn't see the back, but I did my layers. So Tiffany is just, you know, like trimming what I already have because I still want to keep it long. 
And I also love how she doesn't get scissor happy. I know there's a lot of stylists that get scissor happy. That's why I don't go to just anyone when it comes to my haircuts. I usually just trim my hair myself. And then here, as you can see, like from the scalp all the way to the mid shaft, it's pretty light, like it's blonde. And from mid shaft all the way to my ends, it's still pretty brassy, like super orange because that's the old hair that I had, like with the color and the top part was just very fresh. And you know, it was kind of like semi virgin, if we can call it that. <laughs> And don't mind me because I got hungry, so I gotta eat my food before I get cranky. Anyway, so this is the part where she's toning my hair. Okay, so I feel like this is the best part out of all the process that we did, the toning. Because as you can see, I have like three to four different tones in my hair and for her to tone my hair to this beautiful color without leaving any line of demarcation, it just looks so blended all together. Like, that's pretty amazing. I've had people tone my hair in the past where they don't, they didn't even care how many tones I got and they just put on like one toner and that's it. And you get this uneven color and it doesn't look nice at all. That's how you know she knows her stuff. She knows what she's doing. And you gotta go to someone that knows what they're doing. Cause I mean, come on, it's your hair. You're paying for this service for you to look good, to have really nice hair. And yeah, I mean, I can't stress that enough. And then here, she's just styling my hair. I told her I love, you know, like big loose curls and that's what she's doing. But look at my color, like, oh, so beautiful. Look, there's no line of demarcation. That's how it should look like really blended like you're contouring your face like you want your contour to pop and blended and that's what she did with my hair so this is the first process you guys i'm thinking to do at least two more process before i reach my desired lightness my next appointment is in april so make sure you guys keep an eye out and in between my sessions, I will definitely do treatments because I just want my hair to look really healthy even though it's light. She recommended this hair treatment that you can do at home and you do it like once a week. So you want to do that in between your sessions. I was surprised that my hair even lifted this light. I mean, for some of you, you guys probably will say that it's still pretty dark and that's fine because it's still my first session but i love the results i love how it looks and i just feel like a different person now <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna do it slowly but surely that my hair will stay healthy even though it's light and we'll keep it long for a while so yeah can't wait so where can they find you tiffany so you guys can follow me on Instagram. It's at Tiffany and then there's two underscores and then it's blue. So at Tiffany blue. Um, you can also find my little salon suite in the city of Cyprus. So for all of our information, I will put it on the description box down below. So make sure you guys check that out. And we're planning to do a giveaway sometime yes. soon or yeah, later. Yeah. So Keep an eye out on that, but make sure you guys follow her account on Instagram. And I'm going to try and make her do a YouTube channel too, so you guys can see all of her <laughs> amazing work. If you check out her Instagram, you will see all of the work that she's done. And she's amazing, you guys. Just oh, look at my hair. You. It still looks healthy, even though it was like super so damaged and dark. <laughs> So you guys will be in good hands. You guys can ask her any questions you guys may have about hair, styling, anything, all pretty much it. all of it. Yes. And hopefully you guys can follow this hair journey that I'm trying to go through <laughs> and she's going to help me out. I sure am. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank and you. We'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.